So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question, although we're given a function here, so maybe not simplify so much. Uh, let's read it and see what's going on. So we have this function g of x equals x squared plus 55. The question says, what is the minimum value of the given function? So you know what? This is a perfect, perfect graphing calculator question. Right, so on the digital SAT, you'll have an integrated graphing calculator. I would just literally plug this in, graph it. You're going to get a parabola, basically, and the minimum value is going to be the vertex of that upward-facing parabola. Um, now, what is the minimum value? Usually, minimum and maximum has to do with y values, not x values. So, of course, this, this vertex will have an x comma y, so you're going for the y portion of that. So if you have decimals open on your screen or you have, you know, a graphing calculator out, you can just plug this in and see exactly what I'm talking about visually. Otherwise, um, I can tell you that the answer will definitely be 55. And maybe that was an even faster way to get that answer versus using your graphing calculator, although I do want to encourage that you use it as often as you can to be certain of things. But what do I know? How do I know that it's 55? Well, I know that y equals x squared is a parabola that has a vertex at the origin. It looks just like that, right? My vertex is right there. By simply adding 55, right? So y equals x squared plus, but if I do a plus 55 here, that gives me a vertical shift up 55 units, which means if this is where 55 is, my at my um, parabola will now look like this. It just moves up 55 units. So the y value, the minimum value, would be 55. Choice B.